you see that I've got my uh, bench pack out and I have it locked so any force that comes this way does not uh, have it wriggle all the way. The reason why I'm not just using a stop block is so that I will not keep bashing into the wood when I'm working downwards in this manner. So if I do, do chopping I can work whether it's bevel up or bevel down. But you see that even when I um if I don't I, if I fall forward on the at the end of the cut I am not going to be hitting hold fast or uh, or anything that would damage the bench of the chisel. So uh at this point of time it's probably good uh to practice knowing when and how much force you should apply with the mallet. So once you know that it's about to terminate the cut, you take a lighter cut. So you never lose control of your tool. If I were pairing, it would work in this manner. Just follow the grain. But of course, pairing is going to take up very small peels and it's going to take forever. So I would suggest some amount of uh, chopping down using the mallet. And regardless of whether you're pairing or chopping, you will want to follow the grain so you can get that kind of like a shiny uh, carved finish. So you don't want to be too ambitious when you um, uh, first take the first cut because likewise if you try to take a very very heavy cut it's going to lightly tear out the wood and not to mention that you have to use a lot of force on the method. And uh, another thing is ash is actually like an awful, awful material to work with. It's, it's very, very hard. So I would not recommend uh, choosing to use ash uh, for your first um, carving project, especially not a bowl. We're going to slowly work around the circumference of the, the base and then uh, roughly get something even out. Uh, what I would consider um, something finished is when it when the base is even, meaning that not one side isn't uh, lumpier than the other, and uh, we have cleaned off most of the the saw marks. Of course, um, another option would be to sand uh, all these saw marks down, um, but I do think that using the chisel and the mallet in this setup is quite uh, it's a lot quicker. I've got a nice like uh, rounding going now and a good way to tell the evenness is really just by feel so you can kind of tell where um is it which parts are chunkier than the others and you take it down uh in no situation do you want to punch through your bow at this point of time i'm spending like hours carving it again it's been dependent on how much material material you move on the inside if you have a very steep uh, in a uh, curve, then you probably won't have to remove as much material on the outside. If the inside is very um, s flat, then probably you might want to take out a bit more on the inside to match that. You'll see that I have also started to do some form of uh, facet carving. Uh, the reason why I tend towards facet carving is just because of the flat chisels that I'm using. Uh, design, you can experiment with it, uh, provided it's a uh, a uh, secure and safe manner to uh, work on the the workpiece and now I'm going to show you how we act, uh, can neaten up this rim area and do any final adjustments on the inside okay. what I do is that I'm actually gonna because now we don't have a, a stable base anymore so but we do still have this flat foot that I can use for support and I'm gonna still back it up against the still back out against the, the bench pack in there uh, but I'm holding it down right here so I'm applying pressure and depending on that flat foot over there to secure this for me and you see that it's pretty steady for um, pairing work you don't want to be melting the, the rim. I don't think there's as much material that you want to remove up here. Oops. Okay. So my idea is to kind of give the rim a bit of rounding and remove the the remainder of the saw marks that are over there. Okay. I've gone for quite a thick bowl, so in this case I want to match that 
that uh, look all around, including keeping the rim pretty uh, chunky and hence the slight rounding that I'm doing now. You could grab like 80 sandpaper and, and, and sand this whole thing down, but I much prefer to just um, chisel it down so I get that clean finish that matches what I've been going for on the rest of this bowl. You notice that it isn't clamped down super tightly under the hold fast and the aim of this is more so I have um, a secure way of um, carving this top area without having to put my fingers in the way. Yeah. So again following the grain, it should be very easy for me to remove these small amounts of material around the rim, give it a bit of a rounding and uh, yeah I want to achieve this kind of like um, carved finish as well on top and I'll show you that in a while. So one thing you must remember about carving is just that it takes a lot of patience. Um, you get faster at it eventually, but because every wood is different and uh, the way that you're going to use every tool to interact with different woods is also going to change every single time. So there's always a period of like um, exploration at the start and uh, that can take the most time. Yeah, so you can see I, st I still have time to revisit the insights um, as long as I maintain uh, uh, enough of a flat base and I wouldn't suggest uh, making the base too too small on the other side just because of general balance <laughs> of the of the bowl. Uh, yeah so whether you're going to be melting on the inside here but of course when you're melting you want to be working in this direction because uh, now I'm actually util utilizing the bench pack to to resist my um, strike force. Uh, yeah you wouldn't want to start going in this direction because there's pretty much nothing uh, holding it over there unless I were to wedge something else in between here yeah which could be another plan um, use the hold fast to your advantage and what you're most comfortable with so like I mentioned earlier there are two ways for us to get that curve on the wall um, both uh, carving out on the inside and then carving out on the outside and because I took out quite a lot of material from the bottom and there's still some thickness to it which I which I would like to bring down uh, even though I am going for quite a uh, egg tart looking uh, thick bowl so which is why I'm having I'm returning to this step here to pair and mallet a bit but if you're happy with the scoop of your bowl there is no need to revisit it just go straight to uh, shaping the rim, doing your finishing touches on the bottom and pretty much after that we will just give it a uh, coating of oil. Yeah, I'm quite happy with uh, its current state. Uh, I like the kind of lumpy look that it, it, it has at the moment. You can see I've, I've uh, mostly faceted the bottom. I did a little inscription over here but uh, that's just because um, I had the time. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put a layer of mineral oil on this and see how uh, that looks. Again, with um, carving, you wanna be very patient. It's not easy, but it is doable with a lot of practice. Um, when you start to rush your carving, that's when you uh, slip up. That's when mistakes happen, uh, injuries happen, and yeah, that's what you don't want. Yeah, I really will invest, whether it's carving, uh, turning, or or just furniture building because I, I don't really like um, the how hard the wood is and like the how finicky the, the grain is how you've got the soft pores and then the hard wood and then back and forth back and forth uh, but uh, because of that this was a very good learning experience and that is it our completed bowl um, this one is quite a uh, shallow and uh, <coughs> thick walled bowl uh, in future, I will be doing more videos on something that has thinner walls, maybe something bigger. And uh, I'll be exploring a lot of techniques on how to clear out material as well. So uh, if you enjoyed uh, this carving video, do like and subscribe and watch out for more. Oh yeah, uh, I might also do a bit of uh, a small video on how to do these kinds of inscriptions because I find that they really enhance the aesthetic of a bowl or anything that you're carving and they're quite easy